Hello, family. Jesse Marina here. Yes, and we're glad to be back on to share the latest things that we're processing, growing and learning in, and passing it on. And yeah. hope, hope it bless you as well. Yeah, so we are working through some things with, you know, in our marriage and with our clients. And one of the things called calm, and we wanted to bring one of the aspects to you so that it can help you as well in your marriage and your deeper connection. And actually the whole, even like the broad, happiness in your life and you'll be surprised what it is calm is an acronym for cash flow mm -hmm. adventure adventure learning and then your marriage which you know we, we chose the letter m for convenience sake but ultimately includes all your relationships yeah relationships in general whether it's with god yourself your identity and others yeah so today we're going to talk about an A, which is adventure part, adventure because part. it, it kind of hits home for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we we are inclined to put our noses to the grindstone and work, and if we don't have anything to look forward to in the day, the day just kind of grinds on and we keep on working, keep on working until it's bedtime. Yeah, and you know it's interesting. Our marriage is amazing. And we always look for opportunities to make it even better. So this is one of the parts that we need to work on ourselves and have more adventures. Mm -hmm. And so adventures can be different things. But one main thing that we discovered, it needs to be new and exciting. And that's what classifies it as an adventure. Is it's something you've never done before. You've never done before. If you've no. already done it before, then it's huh. an activity. Which is good too. If you if you like again again, it comes down to having something to look forward to in your day, your week, your month, your year. Mm -hmm. And it's about balance, and that's what the whole acronym Calm is about. It's about balance between mm -hmm. those four things in your life. And if any one of them is out of balance, the other three aren't going to work so well. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you don't have regular fun and adventure in your life life can and will get monotonous and boring yeah and so it it, it breaks it up changes it up and mm -hmm. gives you a new perspective it it when you're learning new adventure by their very nature is yeah. going to be a learning experience yeah right yeah you know anything you do that's brand new you're learning and you, your senses become alive like a child does mm -hmm. everything's new and exciting you know mm -hmm. There's so much, much in in it, and we love, of course, the benefits that we have from having adventure. And one of the things we've noticed that, um, so we were out for a week in Indiana just recently, and when we came back, you know, we felt so good there. It's like you stimulated your mental. Um, Clarity is like heightened, right? And connection between us. Mm -hmm. It was just fun. We had so much fun with people connecting with others. It makes you want to, hey, let's just move to Indiana where everything's exciting. Right. Of course. How many, who, who, how many of us have thought that about all, a lot of things? Yeah. And then we go do that or we move there. Mm-hmm and all of a sudden it's not that because you bring your life with you right and it's not new anymore it's that's the key new. it's not yeah. new the new eventually yeah. becomes familiar and when the new becomes familiar that's that's your clue that you need to continue to learn grow mm -hmm. develop and creating new experiences yeah for you to engage with and have fun like even anything you do has to be growing like mm -hmm. it's if it's your job your hobby mm -hmm. it's only fun and fulfilling if there's some form of expansion some yeah. form of learning involved in it or some sort of growth yeah progression progression yeah if, like if you're the, everything in your life is bo that's boring is only boring because it's not growing yeah it's not 
exciting. It's not fun. Mm -hmm. It's been, it's been, we can only handle sameness as humans for a certain amount of time before it's either going to be need to grow or it's going to start fading away and die. Mm -hmm. You're either ripe and growing, uh, you're either green and growing or ripe and rotting. Yeah. And so. Same for adventure. Same for adventure. So what are the adventures that you'd like to have? in your life, in your marriage, if you married, and uh, start writing a list down. We're going to do the same. Yep. We're going to write the list and see what are the things that we still want to accomplish and scheduling them in the calendar mm -hmm. is going to get us there. And, the, you know, if we have it on both of our calendars, obviously, we're going to remind each other and be like, hey, a reminder popped up. Let's go, you know. Yep. And of course, if it's if your adventures don't reflect on your budget and your calendar, then it's still just a dream. Yeah. It's not an adventure. Um, it's not going to happen until it's on your calendar yeah. and budgeted into your budget. Mm -hmm. Which is, again, you can set goals to get there. And right? not all adventures have to cost money. That's right. If you enjoy walks. And you live in the city like we do, you know, go walk a new neighborhood. Yeah. Visit a new art gallery. Yeah. You live in the country. Um, find, find a friend's land or a neighbor's land to walk around and do a nature walk on yeah. somebody else's land with permission. You know, Explore see something new if you're, if you're the hiking type, you like the outdoors. Mm -hmm. Find something new to see that you've never seen before. Or go to a store. That you've never shopped at. You never shopped at. 